But I could also get down with the Instagram. One, two, one. Hashtag. So I'm a journalist. I use the internet all the time to do research for stories, but there's some stuff out there that I don't even want to see, let alone my kids. So our parents taught us that like we should shouldn't look at you know inappropriate stuff. I'm not too worried about what the girls are looking up online, but Carmen has some friends that let's just say they're not as sensible as she is. I have um, a friend and she was posting inappropriate words and pictures and it really worried me and I was worried for her safety and it taught me you know never to post anything that I don't think is right. The thing I've worried about with you is how much you're on your phone. You text all night if I let you. Not all night. And that's why we discussed about it and agreed that 9 p.m. is a reasonable cutoff time. So there's this guy I worked with who got fired for posting something bad about our boss on Facebook. Yeah, and wasn't he Facebook friends with your boss? Yes, he was. Uh, some people let their emotions get the best of them and post without thinking. Parents shouldn't control what you're posting, but they should monitor what you're posting. Because a lot of parents don't really know what their kids are posting and putting on social media. Parents should be controlling to a certain degree. I think that there's some kids that don't realize the consequences of what they do post and it could hurt their reputation. I don't want you to be in a similar situation as my coworker. What if you badmouth your basketball coach and maybe he'd suspend you for a game? That's why we have rules in place, because if you did, you lose phone privileges. And tablet and everything, right dad? Uh, that's why I think we should have clear boundaries so you don't have to wonder what the rules are, now you know. If they weren't set, then I would just be on my phone all the time and I wouldn't be productive at all, so I like the rules that are So I'm a yeah. good dad. Yeah, you're a good dad, not too bad, not too shabby.